So let's quickly look at another type of catheter and um, this type of catheter is known as a peritoneal catheter. Like I told you guys, uh, most of the catheters we have, uh, the names they actually carry is like, uh, their names are got actually like gotten from the part of the body where you'll be inserting this catheter at, okay? And this one, the name being peritoneal catheter, what does that tell you? Uh, this is a type of catheter that you basically what uh, you could be uh, inserting in the peritoneal cavity, okay? So uh, we'll basically look at this, we'll look at the definition, we'll look at the types, look at the characteristics, <laughs> look at the indications. Indications is basically what medical conditions that you need to apply this type of catheter. Uh, we'll look at the procedures to insert and look at what removal, okay? So let's move from the definition. Is that a peritoneal cavity, a catheter, sorry, it's a type of medical device that is used for what? peritoneal dialysis. You see that what the solution, what bar going in, right? And any waste is coming out. So there's a drain bag, there's a solution bag going in, okay? So it's used for what? Peritoneal dialysis. This is the treatment of end stage renal disease, okay? So um, it is a soft, flexible tube that is inserted into the peritoneal cavity to exchange fluid and remove waste from the blood, okay? So yeah, basically we're trying to remove waste so that what? You lift up the load that is usually on the kidney to actually filter waste and all the stuff, okay? So what are the different types of peritoneal cavity, uh, catheter? We have the straight catheter, we have the curved catheter, the swan neck catheter, of course. You can see this one so curved, like a swan neck, all right? So this is a swan neck catheter. We have a double cuff catheter and we have a single cuff catheter. Characteristics, they are made up of for silicon and polyurethane. They are available in various sizes and materials. They are designed for long-term use. Okay, so you see, bag containing dialysis solution going in, all right? Then the drainage is going out like that, okay? So what are the indications? What are the medical conditions that would need this type of catheter? If there's peritoneal dialysis treatment, if there's end-stage renal disease, if there's acute kidney disease or injury, if there's chronic kidney disease or injury. So insertion now, you usually do this on a local anesthesia. The catheter is inserted into the peritoneal cavity through a small incision. It is guided by an imaging technique. You could use things like what? Fluoroscopy, okay? So what, um, you can see this is a peritoneal cavity and um, basically have your catheter going in there, okay? So I think this one should be the single cup because this one is having like just one part, okay? So this is what, the single cup type, okay? So talking about the uh, removal, removal of this uh, peritoneal cavity, Catheter, sorry, is usually done by healthcare professional. Catheter is removed from the peritoneal ca uh, cavity. The site is cleaned and dressed to improve healing. Right? So that's it about uh, peritoneal catheter, which is used for what? peritoneal dialysis. Basically, we spoke about the types, characteristics, uses, indications, and all. Right? That's it. Bye for now.